another episode of Heart of the Dragon. So today we have Oscar with us, and um, everyone loves hearing about dogs, so we wanted to talk about Oscar. His name is technically Oscar, but um, he will also respond to Rocky. So um, for my 18th birthday a couple years ago, I told mom and dad that for my birthday, um, I wanted a vacation. And I said, like, I would, like, there was one point that I brought up that I would really love to get a dog. But, um, you know, I understood, you know, dogs cost a lot of money and that's a big lifestyle change. So I settled on asking for taking a vacation somewhere. So then um, mom told me that dad was going to take me shopping for my birthday. And dad said that we had to stop at the hardware store first. And dad was like, hey, Annika, should we go, um, do you want to go pet the puppies? And I'm like, uh, sure, okay. So we um, went and went and looked at the puppies and I saw some of the puppies they had in the puppy pen. And they had two smaller brown, like smooth brown dogs and then two fluffy dogs like this little guy. And I told him I like the fluffy ones a lot. So um, dad was like, what do you think? It, what would you think if we um, got a dog and went home and didn't tell mom? And I said, oh, mom would not be happy. Don't do that. Like, just like, no, 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 no. So dad's like, so you want to go hold a puppy? And I'm like, um, sure, okay. So he goes and gets a sales associate and the sales associate grabs the biggest fluffy dog and puts it in my arms and dad gets my attention. He goes, hey, Annika, it's yours. And I go, no way, you're joking. And he's like, um, yeah, that's yours. And I'm like, dad, you're joking. No way, no way. <laughs> and the, um, the, the salesperson, she turns to me and she goes, want me to go get the paperwork to prove it? <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting a dog. <laughs> so um, he is about eight and a half pounds back then, little little fluffy bundle of puppy. So um, see something that my dad and I have in common, we like to send my mother texts or or calls joking that we're gonna do one thing when we are really doing another just to mess with her i can tell she doesn't like it i'm sorry mom i know i give you many gray hairs but anyway off that bunny trail um hey hey hey, hey. the audience wants to see you so on the way home um mom at um uh, mom texts dad and goes oh hey does she like it and um, he oh my gosh! Yes, her. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. He texts. He uh, gives me the phone because you know he's driving, so you know we want to be safe. So he gives me the phone, and I text back. Uh, yeah, no, she doesn't like it. And mom answers, "Why not?" And and um, um, I texted back. Yeah, he had um, yeah, he had a uh, diarrhea all over her. <laughs> Should we maybe take it back? And, and she texts back, well, I don't know. And he's like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should take it back. <laughs> and then we come, and then we come home with the, with the, the puppy. The boys were really, like, because we surprised the boys, too. And the boys were, like, you should have seen their reaction when they opened the back door and saw a puppy there. <laughs> like, just, they, they just look shocked. And then they just start grinning from ear to ear. So it's like. Kind of uh, my best replication of their reaction. And so um, we took the dog inside and dad picked it up and put it in mom's arms. Mom almost started crying because <laughs> she said this was similar to having a baby. <laughs> I don't remember that, but okay. <laughs> She's like, yeah, this is similar to like having somebody put your new baby <laughs> in your arms. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, so. she said that. Yeah, right, she so. doesn't remember that, but she said that. So, um... We had a family meeting. We're like, all right, so where are we going to name the dog? And dad had mentioned that he kind of wanted to name the dog Rocky. But like when, like we were going through like the paperwork process and I was thinking of if I wanted, what I wanted to name it and the name Oscar was popping in my head. I'm like, this seems like a good Oscar. Um, so I said, I want to name him Oscar. And then mom said she wanted to name him Barnabas and Barney for short. I thought that was a cute name, but whatever. So, like, so we're I got going... a lot of grief from, about that, by the way, from my kids. They made fun <laughs> of me. They said, are you naming your dog after a purple dinosaur? So, anyway, so we're bantering back and forth because my dad really wants to name him Rocky, and I wanted to name him Oscar, and we're, like, trying to get the rest of the family on our side, you know. So, it's, like, eventually it was kind of split evenly between Rocky and Oscar, 
So we flipped a coin and Oscar won. Um, so, like, the reason why he still responds to Rocky as well, um, <laughs> my dad is my dad. Um, we come from a family of very stubborn people. Perhaps this is part of the reason why I stubbornly stuck to Oscar. Hey, dude, what are you doing? So, my dad kept calling him Rocky even though his name was Oscar. So, it's al always been, like, a family feud of, um, what is his name? Is it Rocky or Oscar? <laughs> So it's like he's officially registered as Oscar because Oscar won, but he will respond to both. Yeah, Dad, Dad got that for me for um, Christmas to prove that his name was Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, on his uh, registration it says Oscar and then a parenthesis Ross, Rocky. Yeah, <laughs> and then um, whenever we get him birthday cards, let, Dad birthday cards, we like we will always get a birthday card from the dog and. Um, I will always sign the dog's name, and it will always say Oscar, and then in, like, small parentheses, Rocky. <laughs> and then we got him, uh, for Christmas, a, uh, one of those, um, ornaments oh, yes. that, with the, with the paw prints, where you put the paw prints on the ornament, it's like a, a cement type thing, and Annika hand wrote Oscar Rocky, and so then we had this kind of feud where people were crossing it out and switching it back and forth with which name was first, so that was kind of a funny so thing. So I ended up, so it's like, you know, I I wrote Oscar, and then Dad wrote in, like, crossed it out and wrote in big letters, Rocky. So, like, I wrote little letters right above Rocky, Oscar, and then Dad found that, so he crossed it out with a Sharpie, so it would say Rocky. So then they took the Sharpie, and I wrote Oscar in a place where he couldn't cross it out without it looking weird. Yeah. So. That's our silly family. We just like to get kind of crazy about things yeah. and tease each other. So, so um, Yeah, the one that, when Annika went off to college, um, one of the funny things is um, uh, Mel, my husband, or dad, was off on a pressure-watching convention over in Atlanta, and whenever... Um, Oscar is away from family. He gets really upset. So his breed is a Cavapoo, which is a King Cavalier Cocker Spaniel and Poodle Mix. And no, it's not Cocker Spaniel. Cocker Spaniels and Poodles equal Cockapoos. No, it's a, a King Cavalier is a type of Spaniel, Annika. Yes, yeah, so it's a King Cavalier Spaniel. Okay. It's a Cavalier, not all right. a Cocker. Right. Blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> so his, his breed is a King Cavalier Spaniel and poodle mix because Annika has to be exactly <laughs> right because that's her personality it's got to be exactly perfect and spaniels tend to when they have separation anxiety they like to pee on places so when um dad was off to the convention and Annika was packing up for college he was getting pretty upset and nervous so he started uh, peeing in random places and Literally, if she was getting ready to move some stuff to college and she had all of her clothes packed up in a laundry basket, he peed all over all of her clothes. So I think he yep. knew that she was moving. So that was Yeah, I literally peed on my laundry basket. Oh my basket. gosh. So that was crazy. I was so mad. Um, but it's hard to stay mad at you because you're too cute. And this this breed is also very friendly and they love people. And so oh, no. um, it, it gets to be like people will say, oh, he's so cute. He's like a teddy bear. But then when people come to her house... He kind of gets on their nerves a little bit because he just gets a little too overly friendly with them. He just, it, we always say that he says, where have you been all my life? And he gets so excited whenever we have a guest. So especially yeah. if we know a guest is not keen on dogs or allergic to dogs, we tend to either put him out on his line or, or put him somewhere where he's, he can't uh, reach them because he will just be all over them. And he does this thing that the boys call doodle bugging. Which is, he, he kind of gyrates on your leg. <laughs> yes. Which is kind of... Yeah, we're trying to keep this appropriate here. <laughs> so, but anyway, so he uh, does kind of some crazy things. But he's a lovable dog. Um, some of the benefits of having Oscar is because we have a, a people with a lot of uh, health issues. Um, he has a keen sense of uh, when people aren't feeling good or when they're emotional. What the heck are you doing there, dog? And so, like... Um, for instance, we've talked about middleman at times. Um, he was having these horrible migraines um, this winter, and whenever he was having a migraine and laying down, Oscar would be right there. And then I have this kind of weird vertigo thing that we talk about where I have this weird, where I have these spells, and um, they come, they don't come as often now, but I still get them once in a while where um, Annika calls a too many cocktail hour where I just, 
I have no yeah, sense of balance, and the room feels like it's tilting, and, and I fall when it happens, and I also have what I call ocular migraines, which causes my balance to go off. So, like, when I'm having a spell or a flare-up, like, if the kitchen light is on, I'll just, like, pass out. <laughs> and the dog is always, like, right there on me. So he's got this kind of keen sense. I think he'd probably make a pretty good service or emotion, emotional support dog. Uh, because he really does have a, a strong sense of when someone's either in distress or when someone falls or someone's hurt, he's right there and he's given lots of love and sugar. So he's been real good to my kids and I in that way. It's a lot easier as a person with autism. It's a lot easier for me to interact with a dog than it is for me to interact with a human. I don't know why. I mean, like, it's just, I don't know why. It's, uh, it's weird. When Annika went out to college, we joked, maybe this will last you a while, we joked that uh, she seemed uh, more sad to say goodbye to the dog than anybody else in the family. Yeah, it's like I would always feel bad about that, but I don't know if there's some truth to that or not. It's all right. <laughs> you can admit it. You're pretty crazy about this little turkey. Um, when he was a little furball, tiny thing, um, Annika was trying to get me out for walks, and so I had it been able to walk for a few, uh, several years um, because of my vertigo and balance okay, dude. disorder. Hey, come on. And so um, she wanted me to go, go with her to take the dog for walks. Um, I used to be able to when my youngest was a baby. Okay, he's getting crazy about all these treats here. <laughs> when my youngest was a baby, he used to, um, I used to use a stroller to kind of hold on to when we were walking, and it got to a point that... Um, I was in too much. I was too weak to push the stroller anymore, and then um, my youngest grew up, and so then I didn't have anything to hold on to. So eventually, we kind of finagled it when he was a puppy that we'd bring my wheelchair along. So whenever we go for a walk, I push my wheelchair kind of like a walker, and it's a little bit sturdier than a than a uh, like like a regular walker. So when the dog was little, we used to put the dog in the wheelchair and we push the dog around the neighborhood, and he'd sit in the wheelchair and he loved that when he was just a tiny little puppy. And then sometimes I would take his leash and hook it on there. Well, then when Annika went off to college, one day I tried to do that. And, well, he got bigger and he got feistier. And he was kind of going through a stage where he liked to run away. He'd chase leaves. He'd chase birds, butterflies, other pets, cats in the neighborhood, gophers. Would you name it? He'd be after it. And he'd, he'd run away quite a bit. And one day I was trying to walk walk him. And lo and behold, he saw some leaves blowing. It was in the fall. Okay, dude. And he ran he ran so hard, he, my wheelchair all of a sudden just went flying <laughs> through the air and it knocked it over. So that was kind of the end of that. So now, unfortunately, I'm not able to, I don't, I'm not strong enough to be able to manage walking him. He is a little bit more well-behaved now that he's no longer a little puppy, but he's still kind of a big guy and I, he's pretty strong when he gets his mind on something. And so when we go for walks, um, we, I, I go if like Annika or one of her brothers can um, leash him up and we take him. You know, I've been training him on some service dog tasks in order to practice my training skills should I ever need to get a service dog or ESA. So um, one skill we're working on is being able to, um, being able to like concentrate on me without the leash. So I do take him on some walks without the leash, but I like have him under my verbal control. Um, so, um, um, so that is something new he knows and we're like slowly increasing the distance that we can go, you know? Obviously if I'm gonna take him for like a, a very long walk, I am going to bring the leash with. And like one thing that's weird is that he's a lot easier to train outside at night. So like when it's all dark out, I don't I think know he's why. Afraid of the dark, Maybe it's yeah. because he's afraid of the dark, but he's a lot easier to train at night, which is interesting. So here's another funny um, Oscar story. We went up to uh, Mel's, uh, my sister-in-law's cabin around oh, Christmas time. No. <laughs> um, and because some of the, our family has pet allergies, we weren't able to bring them. So our, our friends, the, the Frasers, who are friends of ours, volunteered to take them. And I think that maybe uh, they got more than they bargained for. So he... Um, was uh, so around Christmas time, 
uh, all of a sudden he shut out the door. They opened the door for something and he shut out that door and he was gone. And so they had all their friends and neighbors. He was playing a game with them where he was running back and forth and he'd try to grab them and he'd run off and hide. And he did that for like two hours and they were chasing him. And then we got, we had got some calls and Mel was like, oh my gosh, we're going to have to go back. We can't, you know, expect them to do that. So he would, uh, he, uh, then they saw him run off in the woods behind their house. So they uh -oh. thought, oh no, and it's getting dark. So they were all doing a search party looking for him. And um, they came back and they found him in the garage and he had snuck back in there because he's kind of scared of the dark. And so he was in the garage uh, hiding and he went and jumped in Mr. Frazier's arms and just gave him a big lick. And so we got a picture <laughs> of him, um, you know, licking Mr. Frazier's face with a big grin on his face. Yeah, Unfortunately, so he's been pretty good lately, so we haven't had any trouble lately yeah. with him running off. Another funny thing about him, like, you know, for being a friendly dog, most people would like... You'd think that um, a friendly dog would love to be, like, snuggled and all that. He doesn't really like it for some reason. So, if, it's like, if you notice he's been kind of squirmy, it's because he does not like cuddling. Nope. So, it's like, he's a type, you know, he has to know you're there, but he doesn't, um, unless he's, like, sick or scared or tired, he does not like to snuggle. So it's like, we'll typically find him, like, sleeping in some of his favorite spots in the house. He'll snuggle up with our feet. Yeah, or my foot warmer. You know, if time. I'm sitting on the couch, he might go sit on the other side. So it's like he's nearby, but he's not, like, snuggling, like, cuddled up close. Because he, he just doesn't like that for some reason. The only time I see him snuggling is if he sees someone is in distress. Or if someone's not feeling good. Or when the kids are sleeping, when the boys are sleeping, he'll go up and curl up by them and yeah. sleep by them. Or when he's, like, feeling sick or scared, he'll go c cuddle up with some someone. Dogs, you know, what you've learned about dogs is uh, you got to kind of take the good with the bad. Um, you know, they, they're they with the potty training and stuff, it can be pretty rough. And, oh, yes. Um, but they, they're almost like family, you know. And, and uh, you know, they... They do a lot of good too, so we yeah. just uh, sometimes we get frustrated with them. But he's his uh he's such a sweetheart. It's too, hard at the same time. It's hard him. to stay mad at him. I have a friend who is has been going to medical school, and like she literally had to do a paper on why it's so good medically good for you to have a pet because of the um, impact a pet can have, which is pretty cool. I know having him around has helped me out a lot. Yeah. Good, good dog. Now he's uh, he's here, but he's uh, laying down by my side. Yeah, Just, he's over there. He's getting ready to take a nap, I think. So, <laughs> and who says that dogs don't like to cuddle? Uh, well, aww, look at that. That's so sweet. I think I put him to sleep. <laughs> we wore him out with all our talking. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yeah, the life of being a puppy is hard. It's a rough life. Oh, yeah. I need my rest. Well, so we're to... we are looking at going for a walk. Um, Annika usually takes the dog, and then I usually push the wheelchair. Well, I'm just finishing the end of our walk. Um, I got pretty dizzy, just about an hour to walk, but I fought through it, and uh, it, that sensation went away. So I'm proud of myself. It's been And we picked these pretty flowers, and I think uh, Oscar Rocky is pretty tuckered out, so we're gonna go inside now and cool off. It's a hot day today, so can you say bye? Can you say bye, bye bye? Thanks for the walk. Thank you very much for joining us today. If you liked what you saw today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and then please be sure to hit the subscribe button below, and then be sure to uh. Hit the notification bell so that you can receive notifications on all of our future videos. We are on social media and you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under the username Joyful Mama. Otherwise, we will also link that in the description below. Thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you later. Bye, Bye guys! <laughs>